My dear brothers and sisters, we have now begun the holy season of Advent, a time of joyous preparation to celebrate the birth of our Savior. But certainly, this will be a very different type of Christmas. We had hoped that when we celebrated Holy Week and Easter in such a restricted manner, that by this time we would be able to celebrate more fully the birth of our Savior. Yet serious health challenges continue to remain due to the pandemic and affecting so many areas of our lives. So indeed, it will be a much simpler celebration. There probably will be fewer people around our table, fewer relatives with whom we can visit. Nonetheless, Christmas does bring us great joy. And why would I say that? Well, let's look into that cave at Bethlehem. There we have the most simple surroundings. We have the birth of our Savior with his mother Mary, always supported by St. Joseph, the foster father of Jesus. And then, of course, there is Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, ever present to us, the greatest gift of Christmas. Yes, in the simplicity of that cave, the greatest gift was given. Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and our Savior. In the simplicity of this Christmas, that great gift continues to be given. Jesus never abandons us in any circumstance, in any situation, in any challenge or challenge that is bringing us heartache. Indeed, he keeps his promise, know that I am with you always, even until the very end of time. It also helps us in the simplicity of this celebration to appreciate gifts that are not things but living realities. The gift of parents, the gift of children, the gift of health care workers who will be working on Christmas Day trying to bring consolation and healing to our suffering sisters and brothers, to those in the medical and scientific professions who are seeking a cure to the pandemic, for so many wonderful neighbors who care one for the other, always checking in to be sure that the elderly are being properly cared for, to all the teachers and staffs in our schools still trying to provide a quality education to our children, to all of the first responders who continue their vocation of caring for those in serious need, regardless of the circumstances in which we find ourselves. And this litany of wonderful people who are helping us through this crisis goes on and on and on. These are the real gifts of Christmas. People, our sisters and brothers in the family of God, revealing the face of that child born at Bethlehem. So indeed, we can rejoice. It has often been said, we are in this together. Yes, we are in this together, but we are in this together with Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, our Savior born at Bethlehem. May God bless you. May this holy season of Advent bring you closer to Jesus and the joy of Christmas.